Say what you want about the Jurassic World franchise, even the last one, which I know wasn't so hot, still made a billion dollars. A billion dollars at the box office. We don't get to say that much anymore. In all of last year, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but only two films hit that mark. A uh, short Italian plumber by the name of Mario and a come-to-life plastic doll in Barbie. Oppenheimer got close. Close. Oppenheimer got real close, but only two films joined the billion-dollar mark. Jurassic World still made a billion, even though it was probably the least liked out of the Jurassic World films. Still did a billion. Now they're doing more. We knew there was going to be a new cast. I expected to hear interesting casts, but I didn't expect, Rob, to hear major A-list talent connected to it. But coming out of the Hollywood Reporter, that's exactly what we're hearing is being attached. They said this, Scarlett Johansson is in is taking a bite out of the new out of a new blockbuster. The actor is in talks to join Universal's new Jurassic World movie. The Hollywood Reporter has confirmed. Universal is moving quickly on the film, which has a July 2nd, 2025, so like a year and a half from now, release date. Gareth Edwards is directing the new Jurassic World, which has a script from Jurassic Park scribe David Coop. Edwards stepped into the role after David Leach exited following a short attach short, it was like 48 hours, a short attachment to the project. All right. Now, something that needs to be made very clear here. It hasn't said she's signed on the dotted line yet, but they've confirmed she's now in talks. Now, once you get to that stage of actually negotiating the contract, that means you're at a point where the studio has decided you're the person we want and the person has decided I want to be a part of this. Once you reach that point, then you get into the negotiations and try to figure out the details. And Rob, what we have seen traditionally is about eight times out of 10, not always, but about eight times out of 10, by the time they get to the point that they are now in talks for it, it usually turns out to be. So I think we can operate right now on the assumption, although it's, it's again, it's not confirmed yet, it's not signed, but let's operate for now just going under the idea that she's going to be the new lead in this. I'm shocked shocked. I did not expect to see a name like Scarlett Johansson pop up in this. Cause honestly, she's like one of the Queens of the business right now. Right. You got her Anya Taylor joy. Um, I mean a few other names that you could throw out there as well, but I'm really, really surprised to hear a name of her size is actually talking about joining it. And it actually kind of tells me that universal and who knows how good or bad the new movie will be. But they're not messing around. Right. Like, they may strike out, but they're going to swing for the fences. And I, I got to respect that. Even if it, the movie turns out to be a big mess and it ends up being terrible, they are clearly not half-assing it. I mean, and we see that right away with, like, who they're going after cast. So I would personally love to see Scarlett Johansson in something like this. Again, we don't even know what this story is going to be or anything like that. But add Scarlett Johansson, it's like adding ninjas. It just works. Anyway... <laughs> What do you think about the, uh, are you surprised to hear Scarlett Johansson? Do you like this fit? What do you think? Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Miracle Made. Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so that you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. When they arrived at our house, my wife Anne loved to feel them so much, she couldn't even wait for me to get home to put them on our bed. Miracle Made has self cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevents up to 99.7 of bacterial growth leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. Miracle sheets also have incredible comfort and quality. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. So go to TryMiracle, that's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash Campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40% and if you use our promo code CAMPIA at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you will get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA and use the code CAMPIA to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA to treat yourself. Well, here's the thing. 
from a business standpoint, these movies pretty much, I mean, if you're going to be in a big franchise property, she could call her Avengers buddy, Chris Pratt, and go, was it fun to make these movies? And he probably right. said, yeah, pfft. you know, great payday, keeps making money. And I think another thing, and I have no evidence to back this up, but, you know, she married Colin Jost. If she wants to have a family, kids love dinosaurs. Oh, yes. And, you know, if you, if I think being in one of these movies gives you cachet with your kids for the rest of your life. You know, because kids love not just dinosaurs, but people getting eaten by dinosaurs, <laughs> and that's what that's what these. I, I, I mean, Scarlett Johansson with the where where the business is at. I mean, yeah, she's not probably looking to make her new Ghost World. You know, Ghost World Two. They don't have the kind of money. She's going to get a big payday, probably a nice annuity. You know, year after year with this, she's going to have a good time. They're going to make this movie fast because they have to. And David Kep wrote it, not a slouch in terms of a screenwriter, a lot of credits there. And I, I, I see it's a win-win for her. It's a win-win for the studio. And they're, bring, they're, they're building a new, this is an all new, uh, I don't know what they're doing with it, but it's new. So there's a possibility of having maybe two more movies, doing a trilogy. And uh, I think for Scarlett Johansson, everyone wins. Um, so here's an interesting thing to think about, though, too. By adding something like a Scarlett Johansson, I think that not only means you got a big A-list star, but it also becomes a magnet for other talent. Yep. I think when you attach somebody like her to it, when you're in negotiations now with other talent, you can swing a little bit, you know, you can climb a little bit higher up the ladder and go after certain people that maybe you thought you couldn't get involved with this, but now you're able to present to this other talent and hey, we got Scarlett Johansson because she's she is a name right now, Rob, that a lot of people still want to act with. Sure. So, are you? Do you think we'll see other big names starting to get attached to this? Well, I think you make a great, a fantastic point, actually, and I think yes, I think because if she signed on, if you're if you're making a Jurassic Park movie, sure, the payday is going to be great, but you all you, can, you don't want to have fun. So I'm sure Scarlett Johansson, I wouldn't be surprised if she already has somebody she suggested to the studio to say, look, we've always wanted to do something fun together. I'll bet you that we see somebody that's going to be in this movie with her. That's a lot of fun. That makes us go, I want to go see that. I want to see the two of them having a literally being either having a romp with vamp, uh, dinosaurs or having dinosaurs romp all over them. So either way, I think it's a win-win. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she has like two Academy Award nominations She's a twice nominated, I, I believe, Academy Awards. She got, yeah, there it is. She's best performance uh, actress in a leading role for Marriage Story, which she, like, her and Adam Driver were so good in yeah. that. And then best supporting actress in uh, Jojo Rabbit, she was nominated for. Now, I saw somebody in the live chat say, well, she's probably not, doesn't get paid as much or isn't worth as much as a Margot Robbie. I disagree. <laughs> I, I think she, she I, I don't think, Scarlett Johansson just demands more than Margot Robbie. I think she probably gets paid significantly more than Margot Robbie. Because, yeah, Barbie is a huge, big hit. And Margot is fantastic. But Margot has a long string of films also that nobody went to go see. Right. Right? Uh, and this re a couple just recently. Whereas Scarlett Johansson has a more established name. She's been a part of the biggest franchise in history with the MCU. And she has indie cred with movies like Ghost World. And her and, and stuff like that. She's got tons of indie cred. She's got multiple Academy Award nominations. Yeah, so I would say, yeah, Scarlett Johansson is probably a bigger salary you got to pay than even to a Margot Robbie. Plus, right this now. franchise, if you are Scarlett Johansson, you're stepping into this franchise because you're getting paid. Oh, yeah. They're, they, I mean, this is not a franchise. Well, it might work. It might not. And you know <laughs> no. they're not looking to sign her for a one-movie deal. Right. Like, you don't go after someone like Scarlett Johansson and a franchise like Jurassic. Like they're they're going to try to get her to sign a three-picture deal, and they're going to build around her. And 100%. her and a T-Rex, I mean, what's not to buy a ticket for? I mean, you're there. So, anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this report? Apparently, Scarlett Johansson, it looks like she's going to be the lead of the new Jurassic World movies. Do you like it? I personally do a lot. Maybe it seems like a weird fit to you. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.
Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.